All right, this is the review for 8.1, Pythagorean Theorem and Special Right Triangles. So uh, question one and two, we want to use the Pythagorean Theorem. We have two sides of a right triangle, and we're looking for the third side. So we're going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, um, c squared. All right, so my A and my B are the two legs, the X and the three, it doesn't matter which order. And then my C is always my hypotenuse, which is across from the right angle. So the C here is going to be five. So I'm going to do X squared plus three squared equals five squared. Okay, three squared is nine. So I'm going to do X squared plus nine equals 25. Okay, I'm going to subtract nine from both sides. And I get x squared equals 16. Then to get rid of the square, I have to do the inverse of a square, which is square root. So I take the square root of both sides. And I get x equals 4. Okay, 4 inches. So my answer should be 4 inches. Okay. Um, for the next one, same thing. We're going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Probably got to write this one a little smaller. Okay, across from the right angle is the X. That means that's the C. So 6 and 8 are my legs, so they can go in any order here. So 6 squared plus 8 squared equals X squared. That's going to be 36 plus 48. I'm sorry, plus uh, 64 equals X squared. 36 plus 64 is 100. And then to get rid of the square, you take the square to both sides, you get 10 equals x. So our answer here should be 10 kilometers. All right, so that'd be your level one question. Well, half of your level one question. The other part of your level one question is going to be to say that the three sides form a right triangle. Right, so that's going to be, uh, we have to check and see if a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it's a right triangle. If a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared, then it's not a right triangle. Okay, the c, the hypotenuse, is always going to be the longest side. So my hypotenuse is going to be 13 here. It's going to be 39 here. Um, for these, I, gotta, I can put this in and see what it's going to be. So in my calculator, 6 square root of 5. That's 13.4, about 13.4. So the longest side is going to be the 14. Okay. Here, square root of 101 should be um, just over 10. So how about 10 point, it, it rounds to 10.0 still. 10.04. Okay, and then 3 square root of 30 is going to be 16.4. So for this one, my hypotenuse is going to be the 3 square root of 30. So from there, I just have to see if a squared um, let me pause the recording here. Okay. Uh, should be good. Sorry if my mic wasn't working very well here. But hypotenuse is 13, so this is going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared. Okay, and I'm going to put that in my calculator. 6 squared plus 8 squared. We just did that. That should be 100. Okay, and then I'm going to put in 13 squared, which is 169. So a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared. So is this the right triangle? We're going to say no. This one is not a right. These sides, they form a triangle, but they don't form a right triangle because a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. 15 squared plus 36 squared. Does that equal 39 squared? So if I type in my calculator, 15 squared plus 36 squared, I get 15, 21. 39 squared. It's 1521. Oops. 
So those are equal. So since a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we were going to say, yes, this is a right triangle. All right, the next one here. So uh, again, 14 is our hypotenuse. So 6 square root of 5 squared plus 4 squared. Does that equal 14 squared? 14 squared is 196. So let me type this, the rest of this in my calculator. 6 square root of 5. Make sure I have it in parentheses because I'm squaring the whole thing. All right, plus 4 squared gives me 196. So those are equal. So these three sides can form a right triangle. So we're going to say yes. If this is a triangle, it's going to form a right triangle because a squared plus b squared equals b squared. Over here, we got 9 squared plus uh, square root of 101 squared, which is just 101, equals 3 square root of 30 squared. Well, we're going to see if they're equal, right? So let's do 9 squared plus 101, right? Or square root of 101 squared. That gives me 182. And then 3 square root of 30 squared gives me 270. So these are not equal. So we're going to say no, not a right triangle. Okay, and so that's going to be your level one, the Pythagorean theorem. Can you solve for the missing side of a right triangle? Can you determine if the three sides of a triangle form a right triangle or not? And you do that by checking to see if a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, and then your level two and three are going to be um, special right triangles. So let's start with this one here. Okay, um, these two sides are congruent. So this is an isosceles triangle. Since this is isosceles, right, these have to be 45 and 45. Right, you can get that by doing 180 minus 90 is 90. So these two angles have to add up to 90, and we know they're equal because it's isosceles. So you divide by 2, and you get 45 and 45. Same thing for this one. It's isosceles, so these are going to be 45 and 45 degrees. So these two triangles are 45, 45, 90 triangles. 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. All right, your equation for 45, 45, 90 triangles is going to be that the hypotenuse equals, um, I guess I can't do square root symbol here, square root of 2 times the short, or the leg, right? The legs are the same. Okay, so in the first one, we have the hypotenuse, so we're going to have to go backwards. The leg is going to be equal to the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2, right? If you have the high leg, you multiply by the square root of 2 to get the hypotenuse, right? If you have the hypotenuse, so you have to divide by the square root of 2 to get the leg. So here, we're going to do 7 square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, which gives us 7, and the other leg is also 7. Okay, for 14, they also give us the hypotenuse, so we're going to divide this by the square root of 2 as well. The problem with this is we don't want to have that radical in the denominator. So we need to multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. And that gives me 9 square root of 2 over 2. So my two legs are going to be 9 square root of 2 over 2. 9 square root of 2 over 2. All right? We had to divide those hypotenuses by the square root of so that's something what your level two question is going to look like. Okay, and your level three question might be more uh, like 15 through 17 or something like this. So on this one, it says a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The shortest side is 15. We want to find the lengths of the other side. So drawing a diagram always helps. So I'm going to draw a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is my right angle. The bigger angle here is 60. The smaller angle up here is 30. The shortest side of the 30, 60, 90 triangle is the short leg. So this will be 15 down here for my short leg. Okay. Um, the hypotenuse, we know the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. 
right? So 2 times 15 is going to give me a hypotenuse of 30. And we know the long leg is equal to the square root of 3 times the short leg. So we're going to take 15 and multiply by the square root of 3. And we're just going to leave it as a radical. So we're going to say 15 square root of 3. Those are my three sides. 15 is the short leg. The hypotenuse is 30. And the long leg is 15 times the square root of 3. All right, 16 is also a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let me draw another 30, 60, 90 triangle here. Okay, it says the hypotenuse is 18. We know that the hypotenuse is equal to 2 times the short leg. Okay. So in this one, you got to work backwards. If the hypotenuse is 2 times the short leg, then the short leg is equal to the hypotenuse divided by 2, right? If you have the shorter one, you need to multiply by 2 to get the longer one. If you have the longer one, you need to divide. So 18 um, divided by 2 is going to give me 9. Okay, so half of 18 is 9, so the short leg is 9. And then the long leg, which we already said on the equation up there, is equal to the square root of 3 times the short leg. The short leg is 9 here, so the long leg is going to be 9 square root of 3. All right? This is the big angle, 60. This is the small angle, 30. So hypotenuse is 18. That means the short leg has to be half of that, which is 9. And then you multiply the short leg by the square root of 3 to get the long leg. All right, the last one here um, is the 45, 45, 90. Okay, so we know 45, 45, 90. All right, we know one leg is 9. Oops. One leg is nine. That means the other leg is also going to be nine. And then we have hypotenuse for 45, 45, nine. The hypotenuse is equal to the square root of two times the leg. Square root of two times the leg. So that's nine square root of two. So the sides are nine, nine. And 9 square root of 2. Leg is square root of 2 times the... I'm sorry, the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times the leg, which is 9. All right, so that's your level 2 and 3. The rest of this, then, is level 4 stuff. So we just um, have a lot of practice here for those of you trying to go for the level 4 questions here. The level 4 questions are going to be about area and perimeter, and you're going to have to use um, special right triangles or the Pythagorean theorem um, to try and solve for area and perimeter. So number 18, let's just start by filling in the, all the sides we can, right? So this is a 30 and 90. So 180 minus 30 minus 90 gives me 60. So this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is the hypotenuse. The short leg here is half of the hypotenuse. So the short leg here is going to be 4. Okay, and then the long leg is the short leg times the square root of 3. So this is going to be 4 square root of 3. Okay. Um, on this triangle, okay, this is a right angle, so you have a right angle here. That's 60, so 180 minus 90 minus 60 gives me 30. Okay. So this is the long leg. So to get the short leg, we're going to do 4 divided by square root of 3. All right. And I'm going to do decimals on this one here because um, it's going to be hard to get exact answers. But this should be 4 divided by square root of 3. We can just put that in, I guess, for now. 4 divided by square root of 3. Right, if you rationalize that, I guess I'm just going to do exact answers. That's 4 square root of 3. So you multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. We get 4 square root of 3 over 3. Okay, and you can use decimals here. That's fine, too. But 4 square root of 3 over 3. Okay, and then hypotenuse is double the short leg. So that's going to be four, 8 
square root of 3 over 3, right? You got to double the short leg uh, to get that hypotenuse. All right, perimeter is the length around the triangle. So if we're finding the area, the perimeter of the big thing, we need to find all of these distances and add all of these numbers together. So I'm going to do 8 squared of 3 over 3 plus 4 squared of 3 over 3 plus 4 root 3 plus 8. Those are the four numbers I'm going to add together to get the perimeter of this figure. So 8 squared of 3 divided by 3 plus 4 squared of 3 divided by 3 plus 4 square root of 3 plus 8. And I get 21.9, about 21.9. So my perimeter is going to be about, I should say approximately, approximately 21.9. Okay. And I got that by just adding these four values together on my calculator. 8 squared to 3 over 3 plus 4 squared to 3 over 3 plus 4 squared to 3 plus 8. Okay, area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, so you can do this two ways. You can do the two triangles separately, or you can do the whole big triangle together. I'm just going to do the whole big triangle here. So area equals one half. My base is these two values added together. So for my base, I'm going to do four square root of 3 divided by 3 plus 4 square root of 3. That gives me about 9.2, so that's going to be my base. Okay, and then my height here is 4. Okay, so I'm going to put that in my calculator now. 1 half times 9.2 times 4. My area is about 18.4. I wish they had units on this, but that's okay. So perimeter, I should put approximately. It's approximately because we rounded that um, base, right? It's not exactly 18.4. It's about 18.4. All right, number 19 here. Um, so this is 30. This should be a right angle here. Let me do purple. I like the purple one on for that. Okay, so this is a right angle. That means this is a right angle too. It's perpendicular. Okay, 90, 30. That means this angle has to be 60, right? 180 minus 90 minus 30. If this is a right angle, these two have to add up to 90. So 90 minus 60 gives me 30. And if that's 30, this one has to be 60. 180 minus 30 minus 90 is 60. So we have two 30, 60, 90s. This is the hypotenuse. Okay, so the short leg is half of that, which is 3. And the long leg should be 3 times the square root of 3. Let me write the 3 better, right? Short leg times the square root of 3. Okay, for this triangle over here on the left, this is the short leg. So the hypotenuse is double that. So the hypotenuse is going to be 6 square root of 3, right? It's 3 square root of 3 times 2. And the long leg is the short leg times the square root of 3. So 3 square root of 3 times square root of 3, right, is going to be 3 times 3, right? Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3, right? And then 3 times 3 is 9. So the long leg is going to be 9. 3 square root of 3 times square root of 3. All right, perimeter. Um, if we want to do perimeter, is going to be the values on the outside here. So 9, 3, 6, and 6 root 3, that's 9 plus 3, plus 6, plus 6 square root of 3, gives me about 28.4 for my perimeter. Perimeter equals 28.4. And my area, right, is one half for a triangle. Right? Area for a triangle is one half base times height. 
So one half. The base is six square root of three. And my height is six, right? The base of this triangle is six square root of three. And the height of this triangle is six. So then I'm gonna put that in my calculator, one half times six square root of three times six gives me approximately 31.2. So area should be approximately 31.2 units squared. Okay, so perimeter and area. All right, next one, next two here. So um, here we have a 45, 40, so 180 minus 45 minus 45 is gonna give me 90. So this is a right angle. And then same thing for this one, 180 minus 45 minus 45 gives me 90. So we have two 45, 45, 90 triangles. All right, if this side is six, the other leg on this is also six. And then the hypotenuse is six times the square root of two. We have to multiply by the square root of two. All right, on this triangle, the six square root of two is a leg. So six square root of two, that means W is also six square root of two. All right, so hypotenuse is the leg times the square root of two. So we need to do six square root of two times the square root of two, which equals six times two, right? The square root of two times the square root of two is going to give me two. So six times, right, square root of four, which is two. Six times two then is 12. So my Y here is 12. So perimeter is the length around. So that's six plus 12 plus six square root of two plus six. So I'm going to add those all together. Six plus six plus 12 plus six square root of two. And that gives me 32.5 approximately. So my perimeter is approximately 32.5 units. Okay, area of a trapezoid now, right? This is a different uh, formula. Area of a triangle, you could do the two triangle areas separately and add them together. Or the area of a trapezoid is going to be one half, right? Base one plus base two times the height. So it'll probably be easier to write it as uh, base one plus base two over 2 times the height, right? So base 1, those are the ones that are going to be parallel here, right? So 6 and 12 are going to be my bases. So it's going to be 6 plus 12 divided by 2, right? So my base, right? This is be one base, right? Base 1. Maybe I'll label it in black or something. Here's base 1. Right, the two ones that are parallel, and this is base two. And we know they're parallel because that's 90 and this is 90. So um, converse of the same side interior angle theorem tells us that if the same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. So those are the, the bases, the parallel sides of my trapezoid. And then times the height, which is six. Okay, so I get six plus 12 is 18 divided by two. That's 18 divided by 2 is 9 times 6. So my area is going to be uh, 54 units squared. Okay. All right. Um, the next one here, um, we have a right angle. We have a 30 degrees. That means 180 minus 90 minus 30 is 60. It tells us these lines are parallel. So if the lines are parallel, same side interior angles are supplementary. So that means if this is 90, these two angles here have to form a right angle, which means if this is 60, this has to be 30. 90 minus 60 is 30. So then if that's 90 and that's 30, the last angle here has to be 60. All right, this is the hypotenuse. The 12 is the hypotenuse of this 30, 60, 90 triangle which means the short leg is half of the hypotenuse. The short leg is six. And the long leg is six times the square root of three, right? It's the short leg times the square root of three. Now for the second triangle then, 
This is the hypotenuse. The six square root of three is the hypotenuse. So the short leg should be half the hypotenuse, right? The hypotenuse is equal to two times the short leg. So half of the hypotenuse is going to be three square root of three, right? Six square root of three divided by two is three square root of three. Okay, and then to get the long leg, we need to multiply the short leg by the square root of three. So three square root of three times the square root of three, right? The short leg times the square root of three. And that's going to give me three times square root of three times square root of three is three, right? So then three times three gives me nine. So this length here is nine. Okay, so when I add up my perimeter, I'm going to do that in my calculator. I have 12 plus six plus nine plus three square root of three, right? Perimeter is the length around, so 12 plus six, plus nine, plus three square root of three. And I get 32.2 approximately. Oops. So approximately 32.2. And again, that's going to be units squared. Units squared. All right, and that's that. That's the, oh no, area, we got to do area. So this is a trapezoid again, right? You could do the two triangles separately, but area of a trapezoid is one half, right? Or base one plus base two over two. Might be a better way to write it. Times the height. So our area, base one and base two, that's nine plus 12 divided by two. All right, the bases are the parallel sides, the lengths of the parallel sides. And then the height here is W, right? The vertical one. So that's going to be three square root of three. So if I do this, I'm going to get nine plus 12 divided by two. Which gives me a 10.5. And then I'm going to multiply by three square root of three, which gives me about 54.6 units squared. 54.6 units squared for my area. Right, two more. Right, 22. All right, so 45, 90, that means this has to also be 45. If this is 90, this is 90. 180 minus 90 minus 30 is 60. Okay, so this is the um, hypotenuse. So we need to divide by the square root of two, right? The short, the leg, I'm sorry, in the 45, 45, 90, the leg is equal to I'm sorry, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of two times the leg. So we already have the hypotenuse, so we need to go backwards. We need to divide by the square root of two. So eight divided by the square root of two. Let's rationalize our denominator. Again, you can just do a decimal, that's fine, but I'm gonna rationalize my denominator and get eight square root of two over two, which equals four square root of two. So this is four, square root of two, and this is four square root of two. My two legs are both four square root of two. Okay, so this is another one that looks kind of weird, um, but you have to look at the angles, right? So this is 30 and this is 60. That means this is my short leg, right? So this diagram isn't drawn very well. It's kind of drawn weird. Um, this point should probably be more in here this way, right? But the short leg is across from the smaller angle. So the short leg is across from the 30. So this is the short leg, which means my hypotenuse is going to be eight square root of two. Okay. And then my long leg is four square root of two times the square root of three. It's the short leg times the square root of three. That's going to give me four square root of six. Okay, six, uh, there's no perfect squares that go into six. So we're just going to leave it as four square root of six. Okay, now we can do our perimeter. So our perimeter, we're going to add up all the sides, right? So in my calculator, I'm going to do, um, you know, it's going to be approximate answer here. We're going to do eight plus eight square root of two plus four square root of two plus four square root of six.
Yep, and I got approximately 34.8. Oops. All right, I added 8 plus 4 squared of 2 plus 4 square root of 6 plus 8 square root of 2. Yep. All right, area. This is a triangle again. So area equals 1 half base times height. So my area is going to equal 1 half. My base, right, is going to be 4 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 6. That's going to give me my base. Right? I'm going to add these two together because the base is the, the bottom side of the triangle here. 4 square root of 2 plus five, uh, 4 square root of 6 is 15.5 approximately. And then my height is going to be 4 square root of 2. So then that's going to be my height. So I can put that all in my calculator. 0.5 times 15.5 times 4 square root of 2. And that gives me an area of 43.8. Units squared, right? Should be units squared. Approximately. Should be approximately. 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 Okay, the next one here. Um we can uh, draw a vertical line here. So again, this one is also one that's not going to look like normal. It's not going to look like it's the scale, but if you go with the diagram and what they give you, this is going to have to be a 45 degree angle. Which means these are going to have to be right angles all around here. So if this is six, this is six. <clears throat> four means this has to also be four, right? Opposite sides of rectangles are going to be equal. If this is 4, since this is a 45, 45, 90, I know it doesn't look like a 45, 45, 90, but according to the diagram, it is. So that means that leg is 4. This leg is also going to be 4, which means the hypotenuse is going to be 4 times the square root of 2. So once we have that all filled in, we can find the perimeter. 4 square root of 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. We're going to add all those pieces together. So 4 squared of 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 6. And that's going to give us our perimeter. So it's going to be approximate because of the square root there. So let me see. I got 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 square root of 2. 25.7-ish units. So about 25.7 units. Area, this, again, this is a trapezoid, so area is going to be base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. So the bases are along the parallel side, so my bases are 6 and then 10, right? This base here, right, this distance, 4 plus 6 is going to give me 10. So my bases are 6 and 10. So I'm going to do 6 plus 10 divided by 2, and then times the height, which is 4. And this is going to give me an exact answer here. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 32 units squared. Right? So 6 plus 10 is 16 divided by 2 is 8 times 4 gives me 32 units squared. Okay, just two more. All right, um, this one we're looking for a perimeter. So this is a square, which means all of these are right angles. Okay, um, if you split the square in half, those angles are going to become 45 and 45 and 45, 45. Right, which means this is two 45, 45, 90 triangles. The hypotenuse of both is 18 square root of 2. So since the hypotenuse is 18 square root of 2, we divide by square root of 2. And the length of all the sides here should be 18. Which means the perimeter is 18 plus 18, which is 36, plus 18 plus 18, which gives me a total of 72. I added 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18, that's 36, um, 54, 
72 units. All right, this one again, isosceles, so you'd have 45 and 45. Right. 180 minus 90 divided by 2 is 45 and 45. The hypotenuse is 8 squared to 2, which means the base and the height, the two legs here, are going to be 8 and 8. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So the base and the height here are both 8. Right? The base is 8. The height is 8. 1 half uh, 8 times 8, which is going to give me an area of 32 units squared. All right, one half of eight is four, and then four times eight is 32.5 times eight times eight, 32 units squared. Okay, and that is um, the review. Again, um, if the last page here is confusing or the last half of the page, that's fine, right? The level one, two, and threes are the left half, um, and these area and perimeter questions would be your level four.